Hey guys, listen, this, this is kind of, to me, this is probably one of the most exciting uh, things that we brought to you today. Uh, you guys, I think I've heard from at least half of you at least two or three times about putting really blue in. Yeah. And uh, y'all are shaking your heads. Now, I'm not. Oh, I'm telling you a story. Okay. But uh, it was a it was a battle. To be honest with you, it was a battle. And I, 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 I don't know how much easier to tell you about it, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I've been after Gorilla Glue to put in to put in stock since I've been buying Wall Harbor that long. Uh, I called. I remember the first conversation I had with him. Is, and I, I hope it wasn't you, but I, I called him and I said, you guys have done a brilliant job marketing, but you're the stupidest people I've ever saw like distributing. I said, that's what we do good. You know, they're going out and selling all these little small orders, shipping them all over the country, you know, one two hundred dollar orders. I said, let us do that. You know, help your accounts payable and, and all this kind of, I just went down the whole reason why you use a distributor. And, uh, their answer was, well, we can't control where it goes if we do that. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to get that was before me. That was before you. Okay. So where did you not want to sell Gorilla Glue? And, 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 you know, anyway, so I'm very tickled to be able to introduce Matt Hammond. Matt was very instrumental in getting this done for us. Uh, and I'll tell you, and I told a lot of you guys that had called me um, you know, a month ago that, uh, that the first answer out the gate was, no, we're not going to let Wallace Harbor stock it. And uh, so we we got made a lot of phone calls and had a lot of conversations, and it finally happened. So give Matt a little welcome. Thank you very much. You guys are I sincerely nice. appreciate the opportunity right, that important. to be here uh, in front of you guys and tell you a little bit about Gorilla Glue. Yeah, and uh, sincerely, on behalf of the entire Gorilla Glue of Keys and Lutz Tools Company, thank you guys for the opportunity to be involved with Wallace and be involved with each one of you guys. Uh, I grew up in a very small town in Ohio. My father was an independent businessman. My grandfather was an independent businessman. I think small companies are the backbone of America. And I started out in sales uh, about 35 years ago. I uh, worked in a completely different industry. I worked for R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company and R.J. Nabisco. Started out as a sales guy, moved up to where I was overseeing the whole east coast of the United States, got a call one day, thought I was getting promoted, and I got a retirement package. Um, it was a blessing in disguise. I went to work for Gorilla Glue. I've been there for seven years. Uh, oversaw the entire country for hardware, industrial, and the pharmacy division. Uh, have over uh, had over 100 independent sales guys and about 14 inside sales guys with a couple outside managers. So that's my background. Uh, I've got four sons, beautiful wife, and we're trying to sell as much grilled glue and O'Keefe as we possibly can. So I'm going to take you through this. Um, Ben's handing out a couple packets. It's a condensed version of Gorilla Glue and the products along with O'Keefe's. It's all in there. Uh, the majority of our products, and then also our LUTS tools, which are hand imprinted screwdrivers, utility knives, tape measures, and we also have an assortment of bits. Uh, we will still <coughs> drop ship these, we'll still have those. I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. On this table are one each of almost every one of our products on Gorilla and O'Keefe's, and a few selections of our LUTS. Tools. So afterwards, each one of you guys can have one of these. I will be putting together a kit, a little box, with some sampling of our newest products uh, and some more literature, and I'll have that sent down to Ed, and then it will be dispersed to you guys. If at any point in time you need something from me, you can talk to Ed, um, and we'll get it. We'll help you out. We're a family-owned business. We're all about service. We're all about premium quality. So with that, I'll get into this presentation, and then we'll have some time, I think, to have some questions and answers. Uh, we, we think we should have a rationalized assortment, not a lot of SKUs. We're not one that's going to have 15 or 20 different SKUs in the same kind of product. We'll have a different size, like a 4-ounce, 8-ounce, or 18, but we won't have 14 different kinds of wood glue. Proven marketing. We are a marketing-driven company. And we try to 
to go 100 miles an hour on all cylinders with our marketing. We started out very heavily in newspaper and magazines, got into digital, now we're on television. We're on ABC, NBC, CBS, ESPN, Fox News, we're, we're everywhere. Okay, but it's a balanced approach on that. And the thought process is that it drives customers, consumers, into stores. We raised the bar with our competitors as well. Uh, Loctite recently did a one shot, it was a big gamble at the Super Bowl with their Loctite fanny pack. Before we were advertising so much, they really didn't do anything. So that's just one example. Um, it, it really does motivate our competitors up the game. So it's a win-win for the whole industry within glues and tapes. Premium quality products, um, as I said, we're a family-owned business. Um, there's, the father started and hired three of his brothers. There's uh, five sons that took it over. They're running it now, so I have like eight bosses. It's, it's wonderful to juggle that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but they're all about having the best products in class. Operational excellence. Um, we believe in getting the right products to the right people on time. We just recently moved into a 1.2 million square foot facility. So we're, we're experiencing those growing pains right now, but we think we've got that all leveled out. Analytics, um, if you're in sales, you know numbers are important. We buy information from Nielsen, from IRI, from Epicor. So when I talk about Gorilla and O'Keefe's having a number one selling brand, I can prove it. I can bring out Epicor, which basically, if you're not familiar with them, they buy data from Hardware Home Center and Lumber. They'll buy uh, that data from about 1,500 people, and then they'll provide that to us. I can look at the numbers that we're shipping out, and I can look at the POS numbers, and it matches up. Okay? Uh, financial stability, we're privately held. We're in it for the long haul. They continue to put money back into the business. Uh, speed, you guys know, you got to be on your toes, you got to make things happen. It changes fast at retail. Uh, innovation, we're constantly, with our research and development team, constantly looking at new products. We might be researching 10 to 12 new products at any given time. And we're always looking to have new products decked up and ready to go for the following market. As I mentioned, we're heavy into TV. Uh, we'll be on very heavy up during the, the major holidays. We're going to support our new super glue brush nozzle. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, as well as our construction adhesive. Digital is huge. It's getting bigger and bigger all the time. We we'll continue to uh, put more money into that. We've increased that twice. Uh, we shifted some of the marketing funds from print to digital and TV because print isn't what it once used to be. Now it's the digital starting to take over, but we're still very heavy into print. And, and most trade magazines that you'll open up, most areas that you open up, you'll see us. Something that's a little bit new for us is we're starting to target Hispanics and millennials. Um, you're very aware of the Hispanic culture in America. There, there's many different areas where it's heavier down in the Southwest, um, out West. It's all over, really, but we're targeting that more and more. And with the millennials, what's interesting there is not only do you have to advertise to them, but you also have to teach them how to do things, because a lot of times they don't know how to do things. So that's an adventure in itself, trying to educate the millennials on how to use certain products and how to do things. This is our advertising calendar. Down the left hand side on TV, magazine, or digital with each product. So you can see with Gorilla from February through November, we're on. And the nice thing about Gorilla and O'Keefe is if you're advertising tape with Gorilla, you get a halo effect. It, it drives the sales of Super Glue, or it drives the sales of the regular Gorilla Glue, vice versa as well. Nice thing about our products is they're impulse oriented. They're in everybody's junk drawer. You, you know, you, you're walking down the aisle, yeah, I can use some super glue, yeah, I can use some duct tape. Those are impulse items. So we target certain products certain times of the year, but for the most part, February through November we're on. Talk a little bit about Gorilla adhesives. We have the number one selling all-purpose adhesive and hardware. 
We have the number one selling dollar generating super glue in hardware. We have the number one selling five minute epoxy. We have the number one selling four ounce gorilla uh, wood glue. Excuse me. Makes my job pretty easy to sell when you have so many number one selling. It really does. Some new products that we'll talk about a little bit. We came out with construction and pieces in the tube. What makes it so much different than anything else? We've been working on that product for many years, is it's 100% adhesive. Most of them are 70% adhesive, 30% water, 30% solvent. Our construction adhesive will work on virtually anything, with the exception of polypropylenes and polyethylenes. Okay? We test this product with, with consumer focus groups. We test it with contractors. Uh, we tested it for years. One of the things that came back on our construction adhesive that people like so much was the, the fact that it didn't burn in on foam board and the fact that you could use it on virtual things. This isn't a construction adhesive that you're going to use, you know, when you go into a, a community and you're building 150 homes, you want to use it to lay down stuff for us. It's expensive. It'll retail for $7.99 to $8.99. Okay? But if you're remodeling a bathroom, instead of taking in four cartridges or five cartridges, you can use one. You can use it on the mirror. You can use it on the tile. You can use it on metal. You can use it on, on the floor. You can use it on the tub surround. So it's very versatile. We also just recently came out with it in a tube. And we added a sealant, 100% silicone sealant. And the sealant, uh, like most sealants, is it won't mildew. It won't mold. Okay, and it's very uh, elastic, as given to it. Again, what we try to have best in class, first in class product. The other item that's relatively new is our super glue brush nozzle. <clears throat> it's the same formula that's in our super glue two three gram tubes, uh, the three gram tube and the 15 gram bottle. But what's unique about it is I can unscrew this cap and I can squirt it out for a precision line. If I don't like that, and I want to brush it on, I can open it up this way and I can brush it on. Super glues continue to grow. Uh, and this is this is just a great product. That's what women put on their fingernails, right? They can do that too. Or their eyelashes. So that's our super glue brush on. Again, some of our newer gorilla products. As I talked about, Gorilla raises the bar. Our growth in hardware year over year up 9%. Uh, just about 80% of people that you talk to will do consumer focus groups. About 80% of people know what Gorilla is. They know we've got glue, we've got tape. Okay. Percentage change at retail dollar wise, you can see um, our Gorilla Glue is up 9, all purpose 3. Super Glue is really growing a lot with us at 13, Epoxy at 5, Wood Glue 14. So we're, we're raising the bar, we're seeing the growth. And that growth in the entire segment of glues and adhesives, Gorilla is the one that's raising. Because I talked about the Epicor Activant data that we get, when we analyze that we can see what other companies are growing as well, because you buy that data for all companies. So you see who's growing, who's not growing. Uh, we've contributed significantly to the overall growth of the category. Again, um, number one selling all-purpose glue, number one fastest growing all-purpose glue, five of the top ten all-purpose UPCs, uh, number one selling super glue, number one fastest growing super glue, three of the top ten super glue UPCs. Uh, on top of that, with our 15 gram super glue, you get a lot of value. There's a lot of, uh, there's several super glues out there that if you look at them, when you're looking at them, you're saying, gee, this is $3.99 retail. That's a better deal than, say, maybe we're at $4.99 or $5.99. Well, we have 15 grams of super glue in our product in our bottle, our competitor might only have three brands. So there's a much better value proposition. And with our super glues, they're better um, with all the tests that we've done. We put little rubber particles. All super glues are good up and down. 
but when you hit them on the side, they'll, they tend to shatter. Those little rubber particles that we put in provide some give. The other thing we do is we put a metal a pin in the cap so it seals down. It has a tendency not to dry out as much. Where most super glues you throw them in your junk drawer, they'll dry out after a month or two. Talk a little bit about tape. Uh, over the top results with our tape, it's easy to tear, but it's extremely strong. It's weather resistant, it's water resistant, it's UV resistant. It's got about three times the adhesive on it as others. It's, it's much thicker. When you pick it up, uh, you, you actually tear it, and you stick it on, you'll notice how, how good it is. One of the One of the uh, tests that we always do when we go to shows, the hardest part is getting the, the uh, sealing off of it, the shrink wrap off of it. But one of the things that we do is we'll tear it off. I'm going to have a hard time getting this off. <coughs> we'll actually take this product, and I, I would imagine that the majority, the vast majority of the guys that you're dealing with, the hardware dealers, they already have our, our tape. But if they don't, you can just show them it's real easy to tear. And then I just take it and stick it together like that. And then say, well, you pull this apart. Your big strong guy wants you just to flip it. So it's, that kind of tells the story of how strong it is. And then you can stick it back together as well. Use wear out Let somebody else try. I bet you go for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we put a new cloth on it. We continue to develop and enhance our products uh, with our new layered cloth. It just makes it that much stronger. You did a great job there. Uh, our brand growth in tape up 15%. Again, 80% of the people know who Gorilla is. We have a lot of different tapes, and not everybody knows about it. And that's one of the reasons. Um, the family held off for a long time going in the warehouse. It was on us. And then they made the decision, okay, we're going to do it. And at the same time, they made a decision to put, go into a brand new facility. So there was a lot of things going on at one time because we had to hire a lot of people. And so we rolled this out. But we have so many other products out there that if you look at not being in, in distribution, it's hard to get all those other products out there, and it's very hard to keep them in stock. Well, I am very glad to be standing here talking to you guys today about getting the gorilla out there. Again, uh, we've raised the bar. We're seeing a lot of growth with our clear repair. It's up 30%. More of the same on the right hand side. We have the number one selling duct tape and hardware. Three of the top 10 duct tape and four of the fasting, fastest growing UPCs out there. Stronger value proposition for shoppers. That's what it's all about. Should I come with her? Uh, some of the newer products, as I said, we've got a uh, clear repair tank. This one was out for a while. We just came out with this mini roll. It's good for camping. It's good to throw in your junk drawer in your car. You can use this clear repair tape on all types of things, automotive, leather. Um, you can use it in your camping gear. You can actually use this underwater in non-porous surfaces. So it's a tremendous product. Uh, there's a uh, product in it that's called Serlin. They use it on the covers, that same product on the cover of golf balls and helicopter blades, so it's extremely strong, very versatile. We also came out with double-sided mounting tape. We have a clear 15-pound hole and a black 30-pound hole. Quick story, when I first talked to my sales managers and my inside and outside sales reps about mounting tape, no excitement. Don't want to do that. I just, you know, I just, I don't think it's that, I don't, I don't get a lot of calls. Okay, we're talking to R&D, we can do this, we can do this, okay. When I showed the sales team that that is a $10 million category in part of our home center and retail, guess what? They got excited. We're selling a bundle of it right now. So numbers are good, analytics are good. We also have a, a very wide packaging or shipping tape. The whole idea behind that is one and done. It's very wide, it comes off very easy and quiet, and it's super strong and holds good. So when you're doing shipping or packaging, you can just zip it out real quick. Talk a little bit about O'Keefe's. 
Who doesn't know about OTs? Everybody's heard about it? When I've heard people talk, though, it's all about the gorilla. Everybody's gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. This will be bigger than a gorilla soon. It's growing like crazy. It's an incredible product. Uh, we actually bought this product off of a lady named Tara O'Keefe. She lived out in Oregon. She was a pharmacist. Her father was a, uh, was a rancher and a diabetic. Nothing she tried worked for him. Uh, historically, they had bad skin. Nothing she prescribed worked. So she made this product, a lot of glycerin and a lot of other key products, just more of what we would find with other companies. It was, yes, it was working so well that we made a decision to buy it, bring it back to Cincinnati. We took it out as nationwide. We're developing it internationally as well. Okay. There's some new items up there that are not available yet. Uh, we're, we're always throwing out, those are just ideas right now, lip repair, skin repair products. We're always looking at different things. The yellow and the two orange, that's not available. But the working hands, the healthy feet are both in the jar and the puck. The guys like the uh, jars, they fit in your back pocket. The tubes fit in purses. You don't get it under your fingernails when you're scooping it out. They like that. They're both selling very, very well for us. We also hit very heavy with the uh, digital, TV, print. We're also doing radio. Something that's a little new in the hardware business for us is we're doing freestanding insert coupons. If you get into supermarkets, you get into convenience stores with a lot of companies, coupons are huge. For us in hardware, that's kind of a new, new bench. As I said, key support, TV, magazine, coupon, radio. You can see with the, the different networks that we're doing, not only ABC, NBC, CBS, TNT, ESPN, but we also get into shows like DIY, USA Network. Um, you will actually see us in the NCAA tournaments this year. We're going to be advertising in, in selected areas uh, that you'll see it over on the side. So we're really starting to you know, reach out there, especially with uh, Gorilla, which will be with the uh, NCAA tournaments. Many magazines, digital continues to be huge. Again, we have the number one selling hand cream and hardware and the number one selling foot cream and hardware as well. Why does it work so well? Your hands, your feet, your body, your skin, moisture rehydrates and allows it to heal itself. With the ingredients that we have in it and the paraffin, it seals those ingredients in. It helps the moisture to stay in there. The glycerin works with your skin. It rejuvenates and it heals your dry skin. Are they the same ingredients in both of them? There's a little more juice in the foot product. It's called a lantoin. It helps penetrate the thicker cotton. <coughs> it gets through that skin a little bit better. You can use the hands on your feet. You can use the feet on your hand. It just doesn't work psychologically. You know, most people don't want to put things that are made for their feet on their hands. The net for us is we can all sell them. He's going to say it on. He's going to say it on. Now, the tubes, as I said, it's a recent addition, but they've been out there long enough. Okay? Questions? Are we the only ones warehousing? Yeah. No, we're in about 14 co ops and distributors. And that rolled out over the past, I would say, two months. And the boxes. They've all got it in stock already. I'm sorry? I mean, I guess they all have it, but I mean, the Walmart. Oh, no, we're gonna yeah, we're in Home Depot, we're in Lowe's, we're in Walmart, we're in Target, we're in the Kroger. We're in a warehouse, we're going to They're at the grocery store. Are they going to have to buy a drop chips and price You know, that's about a four-hour conversation. We're going to get into it, so I'll try and 